All right, people, today we're gonna try a yamsu or jamsu technique that is a Korean technique that is quite bizarre to me and it's supposed to like give you this flawless, poreless look all day long, stay matte all day long without greasing and creasing and stuff, which is pretty amazing. This technique is supposed to be better than baking. You put your foundation, as I did, and you put your concealer, as I did, and then you take your loose powder or baby powder, depending on what you want to use, and just bake your whole face, put that powder all over your face, and you dunk your face in water for 30 seconds, like cold water, and then you dive out and let the face dry, and then apply the rest of your makeup, and this is supposed to give you this porcelain skin effect. So I already did my foundation, which was Maybelline Affinity Matte, and this is in 09 Opal Rose, and it has SPF 70, 17, yes, it has SPF 17, it looks like this, and for concealer, I did this Camouflage Catrice Concealer, and now I'm ready to bake. I don't know where this idea originally came from, some YouTuber, somebody did it, I watched a lot of YouTube videos to see how they did it, some of them are satisfied with this technique and some of them think it's a fail. One of my viewers recommended this uh, technique to test it, so thank you very much. And let's just dive into this cold water. I'm taking this Aura Loose Powder and just put a lot. Take your damp beauty blender or damp sponge. I'm using this Tala Kala sponge. I'm putting powder all over my face. I think that's enough, right? I look pretty baked. And then we have this cold water here. This kind of reminds me of like the ice bucket challenge. I do not want to dive into this water, but hey, everything for beauty, right? Three. Two, one. You kind of have to move around to get all parts of your face. If you're not a swimmer, and diving is a problem for you, this might be like beauty technique from hell. Are we done yet? Last dive. I'm done. You just wipe the chin so it wouldn't drip everywhere. This is awesome for people who cannot like wake up in the morning, they have difficulties. You just like dunk your face into cold water and you're like, I'm alive, I'm awake. Now what we should do is just wait for this to dry. I have dog hair on my face. How attractive. We're gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and come, uh, come at you with my makeup to tell you what it actually looks like when I'm like dry. For now, I feel I feel that it's you know done a pretty good job. It's just I'm wet. I can't really judge completely how this looks. But the all the powder is gone and we're left with foundation. So just let me dry and I'll be back with you in just a second for you because you do time traveling. For me, it's gonna be like 30 minutes later. I'm done with the rest of my makeup, so I have mixed emotions about this. It really makes your face matte, but it makes it look very cakey, very packed on. If you're a fan of like full coverage foundation and stuff, this is definitely for you, but I believe it's better for nighttime than daytime because you can actually see how cakey this is. Just let me just get near to you. You see, that didn't wipe off all the powder. It, ha it left some powder here and, you know, some patches, so I had to, like, you know, like, clean it a little bit with my finger, but it is full coverage foundation. I started with, like, 
medium coverage foundation liquid foundation and this just made it like full coverage like that but I would not repeat this because I feel like my face is really really dry from like far away I might even like look good but when I just like get very very near with the mirror you know and stuff if somebody gets really really near to me they're gonna see that I have so much product and I've noticed that my blush did not apply very evenly because of this foundation stuff I just I wouldn't do it again I guess I do like how it covered my pimples because I have two here you see two little bumps and it covered them they're not red at all they cannot you know you can see that it's a bump but it's not red you cannot see the redness and I saw that Yamsu is great for photographing which is true it's really good for photographing because it gives you this like matte look poreless look when you photograph but in person I believe that I'm gonna go out like this outside and gonna go some shopping and stuff with my mother and if somebody sees me, if somebody gets really close to me, they're gonna be like girl, you put too much makeup. Now, I'm, just because I'm not a fan of putting too much foundation, I do do a lot of eye makeup, lip makeup, but I'm not really a fan of caking my face because I think that every imperfection is more visible when you cake your face. But it is really fun, it's a really fun thing to do. I wouldn't do it every day because it's kind of messy, you know, this powder falls everywhere, you dive into it, your water is dripping, you have to wait for it to like dry and then put the rest of your makeup. But I think this would be awesome for nighttime because you know it's not gonna show that that much you know the cakiness, especially here. You see this? Do you see the cakiness? From one to ten I would give it probably six but I wouldn't do it again. I just feel like my face is so desert dry and it's already pretty dry because of the winter so if you have very greasy face try this try this you're gonna like it probably gonna do it from time to time because it's gonna give you this matte look that doesn't grease anywhere but if you have really dry skin do not do this this is going to make it even worse trust me it's gonna show every little flake like here you see where my face is peeling off you can actually see that you can see the imperfections it just brings them up so i guess that's it i hope you find this video helpful if you want to try yamsu i would recommend you try it anyway you know just for fun and see how your face react to it and how it fits your personality i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you very very soon